guess who's back? That's right, the BMW is back. And today, we're working on the upgrade I was looking forward to the most. And performance big brake kit. This doesn't actually look good. It's very, very tight in here. There will be no brake upgrades. The caliper is touching the wheel. So here they are. Forza Ultra 8x18 ET35 or instead of 35. Now the best part about the wheel, it's 8.7 kilos. Yeah, pretty good. So let's do it one more time. And this time with brand new Forza Ultra wheels, which by looking at the design should clear the calipers. First off, we remove this Allen bolt so I can undo the disc. Then two 18 bolts for the caliper carrier. And I think this one is an 11 or 12, we'll see, uh, for the brake hose. Here it is, I still need to bleed them, but a lot of room, working as it should. And oh my, are these gigantic, compared to the stock ones. Just for comparison, we're going from this to this. So, this to this. Well should break quite a bit better. Here we have it. The fronts are bled, all tightened up. The two 18 bolts you tighten up to uh, 110 newtons, 11 kilos. And of course, uh, the hoses, the lines, whatever you want to call them, you just tighten up by feel. And no, I'm not doing drugs, it's allergy seasons. And I'm fucking dying. So, as with the fronts, we start by removing Alan. Alan! Bolt that holds the disc in place. 
Now, unlike the fronts, these have to 16 bolts, but I cannot access the bolts except from the down here. So I'll have to remove the plastic cover. Uh, it's held in by four nuts as I stand. We'll remove them, remove the plastic, access the bolts, remove the caliper, put it aside, and then we play with the handbrake assembly. Okay, now the plastic is off. So we'll undo a 16 bolt over here and one down here. But as in the front, first we'll use the screwdriver. We'll release the tension from the disc, put pushing the caliper piston in. Also, if anyone wants to buy discs and pads and calipers, they're like brand new, ATE, maybe 4,000 kilometers on them, even less maybe really good condition so oh and not to forget we have to remove the bad wear sensor off we start to play with the handbrake assembly and that's a fiddly one well for now the caliper is off the disc is not off I'll have to undo the because it's a bit rusted so I have to undo the uh, handbrake and you just put it in here Unfortunately, I cannot show you because there's no light in here, but just unwind the screw so that you release the handbrake and it should come off easier. Now it's a tiny bit less and as you see it's off. This is the handbrake tightening screw, so that's what I was unwinding. Just like on the other side, it's stuck. We'll undo the handbrake as much as possible and then try and get the disc out. Holy fucking crap. Now as you can see, the outer edge of the disc has rusted out and that's what the brake shoes were stuck on. And that also means that the brake shoes are completely worn and that I need new brake shoes. But as I said, since I couldn't make it happen with 185 mil brake shoes, I need to order new ones and also order new discs. Tough luck, what can you do? Now, next important things we'll need to do is bend the dust shield a bit towards the back because otherwise new discs are too big and they will be catching. I don't wanna remove them. I don't wanna cut them, I'll just move them backwards and now we'll see if the new disc will fit we will bolt the disc on oh 
like this and like this and now we just need to space it up out where it's catching on the upside it's okay more than okay be it as you can hear now well you cannot hear it that's because it's good uh, also leaving the caliper to dangle like this is a very very dumb thing to do but as I don't care about this hose nor about that caliper I'll just leave it like that now we'll be using 11 and doing the old caliper And unfortunately, exactly the same thing as on the other side. It's stuck, it doesn't want to turn inside the hose. I'm breaking stuff off. So I will be undoing it on the caliper, which means I have to take the caliper off again. I love this job. It's turning out to be a very lovely, very not annoying at all job. Now we'll try to undo this. Okay. Yes. And the same deal with the new caliper. It will be nice. up just a bit and then rest of the way once it's on the car yeah that's not a happy thing Tighten this up so 110 newtons. Let's do that. Show you how to put in the pads on the Bravo caliper. It's pretty simple. Slide one caliper, one pad in, slide the other pad in. We put the clip and the pins. Like this. The pin is now aligned and I'll take the rubber mallet. And wipe them into place. Actually I won't be using rubber mallet here because it doesn't fit. Now all we need to do is bleed the brakes assemble everything up and drive the car oh no wait still some stuff to do we need to code the brakes in using all right now the brakes are on the car pedal is mushy and goes all the way to the floor so what we need to do now is code the brakes to the car i will be using isis you can see the number which one and how you do it is gonna first connect to the car we choose f20 this here and connect 
okay we are successfully connected now we go to expert mode coding and we read the fa and we save it i'll save it as this this is the folder we need so we will activate the fa and then go to edit So here we need to edit this one and enter SPR. Now we calculate FP and this is the folder we are looking for. This is the folder we got. So we save it. We go back to expert mode, the CM. This is our FA. Calculate FP. That's all okay. And we write it to the car. FA and FP written. Now we go to coding. Again, we read it. And this time it should have this. So we activate it. <laughs> And okay, now we have the file, we have everything prepared. It's time to code it to the car. We'll choose read ECU. I already did that, as you, see, you can see. Uh, press DSC, CAFD, and code. And now we wait to see if the coding will be successful. And then all that remains is to disconnect unplug and go for a test drive to see if everything is okay and the pedal feels firmer as it should okay everything was coded correctly finished finished that's it hopefully everything works